actually shot you there, Jack. I did actually shoot you. I did actually shoot you there, Drac. You ran in front of me. I'm out of ammo. I need to go in search of ammo. Getting some ammo over there. Problem is, it's going to involve hitting things very hard. In melee first. Would have stood a better chance if they had a Krogan. No offense, big guy, but I don't think that would have changed this. <laughs> Depends on the Krogan. Okay, nothing. Are they running away now? Is that what that's about? Or is it just because... <gasps> ammo. Yes. That's why we're here. I assume they're still here. Yep, thought so. So, okay. So they were, he was just saying that because we were so far out of range of them. So I run away to get our ammo. I mean, tactically withdrawn, obviously. Just a couple of sharp shooters left. Oops, sorry. Didn't see you there until it was too late. Fortunately, nice work. NPCs are very tough. That's one of the dead bodies from before, wasn't it? Oh, they have a mech. Oh, I don't 
tilt these going. Once again, I have no ammo. Yes. That went through that. I was hoping that I'd hit that and it would do a little burst radius thing. Because I think that's what it's supposed to do. It's a bit of a radius to it. Run, 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 run. Spotted. I think that's just fast travel back there. And then hand in this quest, and then I think we'll probably call it there. This isn't where I wanted to be. I wanted to be down there. Oh well. Let's just make our way down, shall we? Oh, I thought I had clicked on that one. Uh, that uh, thingy, that one. Clearly, I didn't. Let's go and have another. Let's go and chat with Bradley again. And then I don't know. We might get back on the Tempest, so I don't have to do it next time. Uh, okay. Pathfinder. The Rokar attack is over. We'll know what to watch for in the future. It can't just be this old man and his hunches. Mm. Special thanks to our friend, Jal. It helps to show we're not all on opposite sides. Uh, trust is the way forward. We can't assume anyone could be an enemy. That's no way to live. We're not planning on it. How's the team holding up? A little shell-shocked. Can't blame them. Maybe I should say something? If you like. Uh, proud of your abilities, you all deserve com commendations. I'm sorry this happened. It's meaningless. 
You've earned a day off. Proud of your abilities, you'll deserve commendations. I'm proud of your abilities. Time and time again, you've shown yourselves competent, and this was no exception. Competent, high the praise. The infrastructure you've built, the skills you've developed. Despite adversity, you remain a model for the cluster. So, when do we get back to work? No approval asked or expected. We lose sometimes, but if they have the choice to keep going, they'll take it. This wasn't a good day, but it was another day. You gave them that. Hooray! Your people, Ryder. Hooray! That's on hold. Oh, Liam Costa's bit is done. And now Giles is on hold. <sighs> Everything's on hold. Um. So, yeah, I think we'll hop back onto the Tempest. I'm not sure what I still think you'd be better off with soldiers at your outpost. Yeah, I mean, I would like to make the point that just because I said I wanted it to be a science outpost wasn't... I didn't say we shouldn't have any security at our outpost. Just that science should be the primary focus. Again, stupid binary choices that are completely and utterly meaningless. Why did we even have to specialise in outpost? Why couldn't we just be an outpost? Because you have the meaningless binariness. Binary, 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 binary. Binary. Choices. Yep, so we're going to depart the planet, I think. I mean, other, I than the, other than the other than random side stuff, I don't think there's anything else to do on here at Maybe the moment. All clear. Uh, I, might, I could actually look at my, neck, at my journal and just see if there's anything else to do. But, um... Like, Bill's been asking if you can come by. I know, but it's for. Oh, I have a new email. Ooh, I have a new email. Let's go and check the email then. Finder, you have new email. Thank you. I didn't realize that. Let's look at the email. Message from Exul. Forwarding it to the meeting room. You should see this. Great. It's already progressing. Uh, Non-work-related email from Jarl. Ryder, I told Liam and PB and Lexi a children's story that the mothers used to tell us when we were small. It's from our oral history of the time before the scourge. The crew said I should write it down so they can be added to the cultural centre on the Nexus. The wayward child. Long ago, there was a child who was very stubborn and wouldn't listen to any wisdom, not from her father, nor her many mothers. One day, seeking adventure, she snuck aboard a spaceship with an unknown destination. The child was brave to seek adventure. However, she ended up getting spaced with a load of garbage. Deservedly, she froze in the cold vacuum of space and died. The end. I don't know why the crew enjoyed it. <laughs> Uh, it's a terrible story meant to scare youngsters into obedience. Is this a novelty to your people? If so, how do you humans keep children from hurting themselves? My brain just went... Because I saw a picture of it recently. Is, is the quote from Hogfather. Um, where Death is playing the Hogfather, who is basically the Disc World's Father Christmas. And um, one of the children asks for a sword. And Death gives them a sword. You can't give them that! Why not? <clears throat> Why not? Because it, it's sharp. It will be an education. Sh she might cut herself. Uh, no, is it that? Yes. That is a very good lesson. Or something like that. And it, just, it just made me think of that. <clears throat> From Vetra. Ryder, whatever Suvi's cooking up in the galley smells terrible. She says it's for a movie night. Good. Good cause, bad choice of snacks. I can do better, come see me and I'll show you. Right, go and chat with Vetra. Vetra. You're normally around here, Vetra. Vetra? There you are. And then we'll go and see what Axel's mes message is. Suvi. Gotta love her, but those green snack things she's making for Liam's movie night? Let's just say they're probably better suited to throwing at the screen. You've got a better idea? Yeah, actually. Cora lent me an initiative access code so I could track down some contraband. Long story short, someone on Kadara Port has popcorn <gasps> and Grexen, which is like your popcorn, only better because I can eat it. <laughs> as, as someone with a dietary requirement. Yes. Um, 
<clears throat> Popcorn is contraband. I should confiscate it. Um, no, it's contraband. Someone smuggled popcorn across galaxies. It's light, and people would pay big credits for it. Why not? Fair enough. I could track some down next time we're there. Thanks. It would be nice to have a treat out here, you know. Right. I think. Because we now have two things... Channels already, Pathfinder. Oh yeah, I was going to do this. But we now have two things in Gadara, because wasn't... Um... Oh, yeah, play the meeting. I'm going to do that. Wasn't Drax over in... Drac? Where is Drac? No, you're enemy. You're not Drac. No, I didn't think you were Drac. Where's Drac? There's Drac. Um, yeah, go to Kadara. So I think we'll... I was originally thinking of maybe doing Vetra's next, because that's got another quest attached to it, which might lead on to another thing and another thing and another thing. Um, but I think now we'll do that one, because we've got two things in Kadara. And we could, of we could do a couple of the other Kadara things while we're there, although that's not necessarily, not necessarily going to happen. I think that makes sense. Because then this will probably lead on to another thing after that. Who knows? Call Jarl to the meeting room to discuss Axel's message. Jarl, I'm in the meeting room. Right behind you, Ryder. Pulling up the message. Jarl Amadarav, you always were a short-sighted fool. Helping an outsider instead of your own people. You're unfit to bear your family's name. Is this because I brought him along? Sorry I got you into this. I didn't mean to make my enemies yours. Mm -hmm. He said similar things before. <laughs> when we were students, the Moshai paired us together. We've never gotten along. You need to be careful. I'm still learning about Angara. But that sounded more personal than a childhood rivalry. He's too smart to attack me directly. Aksul wants us to do something reckless. Let's not give him the satisfaction. Or let's give him the satisfaction, but it's actually part of a super secret super plan. Oh, wait for Axel. That's what, wait for Axel to make his next move. That was the last thing we. Was the last thing it said. Um, hmm. So yes, yeah, so we're gonna head to Kadara next time because we've got a couple of quests there. Um, I don't think we've got anything want anything to talk to because we haven't actually. Have we done any quests since leaving? I don't think so. So it's not like we can go and talk to people. Um, but yes, I think yes. Head to Kadara next time. Do Drax quest. Find the popcorn. Huzzah. And hand hand things over and whatever, and then we can progress on to thinking about what we're going to do after that, which will probably be, depending on if we pick up anything else, might be Vetra's quest, because there's two quests in that same area that we can then do kind of at the same time, and just kind of work through things quickly. Well, not, not, not quickly, but work through things kind of efficiently and systematically. Yes, there we go, that's a plan. I'll forget it next time. But <laughs> there we go. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for watching.